and you don't like the way it sounds, switch sides. That's right. The Bible says, you that's on the Lord's side, yeah. come to me. Come to me. Switch sides. That's right. I want to say, you mean to tell me a sin that's loyal to the devil? It is written, to whom ye yield your members to obey, ye servants you are. That's right. If you obey God, you are servant of God. Yeah. If you obey Satan, you are serving him. That's right. Drinking is not of God. Getting drunk. Smoking is not of God. No. Gambling is not of God. Out there partying, young girl. You and your mama. That's right. You mothers trying to be a big sister. And your mother. Your, listen, your mother need to be your mother. Yeah. Not your big sister. Amen. You women that's trying to be the big sister to your daughter, whenever you demote yourself from mother to sister, then that respect level change to your daughter. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? That's right. Go back to the book of Jeremiah, son. Back in Jeremiah 6 and verse 16. And then let's get the great falling away. Come Amen. on. Jeremiah 6 and verse 16. Follow me. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. Stand ye in the ways. Stand ye in the way. And see. See. And ask for the old paths. The old paths. Where is the good way? Where is the good way? And walk therein. Do what? And walk therein. Dance therein. Walk therein. Smoke therein. Walk therein. Drink therein. Walk therein. Parte therein. Walk therein. Amen. Walk mean follow it. Follow it. The old pathway the old wasn't a family church. No. See, the old pathway, the way of Jesus that he taught his apostles, mm -hmm. Peter was a married man. That's right. But the old pathway did not make Peter's wife the first lady. No. That's the old path. That's right. The modern church, the preachers are so busy trying to be celebrities. That's right. God don't send men to focus on being stars no. and celebrities. No. That's not what this is for. No. We're not trying to be popular. That's right. We're not hunting fame. No. We're not hunting dollars. No. We're hunting people. That's right. That's why we go from state to state, city to city, country to country, packing scripture. Yes, That's right. That's right. Packing scripture. Packing it. Packing it. Hunting men. Yeah. Unloading Acts 238 on them. Repent. Repent. Go ahead. Repent. Go ahead, brother. When I see that, when I see that woman preacher, I gotta unload. I gotta load it. Load, load it up. I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to use up authority over the man. Go ahead, brother. I got the load on. Load it up, brother. Amen. Amen. Come on back to Bible. Go ahead, man. Hallelujah. Dallas. Hallelujah. Dallas, you got two choices. Hallelujah. Heaven or hell. There is no in between. There certainly is no purgatory. I wish it was. Amen. There ain't no purgatory. No. I don't care how cute you are. If you got more curves than all the highways of Dallas. <laughs> You will soon die. That's right. God keep proving to humanity, you don't own nothing. That's right. Look at what he do in so many parts of the world. Bring a strong rain, strong wind, house paid off, and God wash it away. Amen. <laughs> wash your car down the street. That's right. Bring a strong wind and take your car and put it over in another town. That's right. You don't own nothing. In fact, you don't even belong to yourself. That's right. God said, I made you for my, my glory. My glory. Amen. When these men, arrogant, self-centered and self-righteous, and these so-called wealthy Christians mm. who go around telling people, well, I just want to prove to people that God can give you the same wealth that he gave me. Listen. God have never told no one to pray for wealth. No. If you get wealthy, all right. But God ain't going to make no everybody rich. Not everybody, no. God made Solomon rich. That's right. But Solomon didn't pray for it. That's right. 
You need to be praying that God save your soul That's right. and pray that God keep you out of hell. That's right. Because it is the love of money that's the source or the root of all evil. If you are wealthy, fine. But that wealth don't make you close to God. That's right. That's right. I meet millionaires all the time that watch the program. I ain't impressed with none of them. Amen. Go into a mansion. Oh, don't sit there. That's, that's the Louis the 18th. Listen, Jack, if Louis backside can sit there, so can mine. Amen. Get out of this materialistic way of thinking. If you got a car, have it, but don't let it have you. If you got a house, have it, don't let it have you. If you got a few dollars, just have it and thank God for it, but don't let it have you. The moment materialism has you, it becomes your God. You should not every day be begging and pleading for God to be rich. God says, seek ye first. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Seek ye first. That's right. The kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things shall be added. This is where the churches have felt that people no longer know how to prioritize. Amen. When I came up, I was told God is first. Man, that teaching don't hardly exist no more. No. That's why you find practically every television preacher, whether on social media or on television or radio, they message is prosperity. Yeah. And I've been telling the world moreover, prosperity is not money. It is not houses. It is not a wardrobe. It is not a Bentley or a Rose or a Maybach. Prosperity is the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of who God is. That's right. You know how many rich people died without God? Mm. But yet their money wasn't able to get them out the ground. Oh, no. Solomon says it like this. How do the wise man die? He said, as the fool. As the fool. So if you're rich, I ain't impressed. Yeah. Are you born again? Amen. Have you repented of your sins? Right. Have you been baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ? Mm -hmm. Do you have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues? Amen. Let not the mighty man glory in his might. Glory in his might. Don't let the wise man glory in his wisdom. Thus saith the Lord. Listen. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 9 and verse 23. Thus saith the Lord. I love to see what the Lord said. Thus saith the Lord. That way when people fuss and fight, they, Pastor Jenny said, no, 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 I'm not the Lord. No. I'm not the Lord. That's right. Thus saith who? Thus saith the Lord. That's my boss. That's right. I just work for him. Amen. That's my boss. Mm -hmm. Listen. Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. Give chapter and verse again. Jeremiah chapter 9, we're at verse 23. Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. So you students of theology mm. that waste your cheap years <laughs> going to cemetery school, the school of the dead. <laughs> That's right. You think you come out some preacher and now you got a robe with a bunch of bars on it. Mm -hmm. Your bar is supposed to mean you're a doctor. Boy. Preaching is a divine act of God. That's right. School makes students. Yeah. Holy Ghost makes preachers. Amen. I've never been in Bible college in my life. But I take that Bible and beat any Bible student to death with it. That's right. <laughs> the anointing don't come from school. And that's what's absent out the pulpit. The anointing is not when the preacher scream and yell and people run around the church or organ play behind them. No, 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 no. That's not the anointing. Jesus said, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Is upon me because, because he has he anointed has me. anointed me to what? To preach the gospel. To preach prosperity. To preach the gospel. To preach prosperity. To preach the gospel. The anointing makes you preach the gospel. That's right. To do what? To preach the gospel. For what? To the poor. To the poor. He had sent me to heal the broken heart. Hmm. Hmm. These people heart, the, the religion done took their heart and crushed it. That's true. Because through the manipulation of Satan, they actually misunderstand the purpose of the Bible and the purpose of church. That's right. Viewers and you that are here. 
this book is not designed for no man to get rich off of. No. Do you understand what I'm telling you? Amen. When we build churches or buy churches around the world, we don't come to the church faking it, hmm. phony, no. eyes all closed. Church, the Lord just spoke to me. The Lord spoke to me and told me to tell you, give $5,000 a person, and he'll give it back 100 for No, no, no. No, the Lord ain't told me that lie. He didn't say that. No. We want to open the church to tell the church, all right, look, that's what we want to do. Let's buckle down and get it done. God bless us to buy our new campus there in Philadelphia, 200,000 square feet. We got all the members all over America and abroad. I asked everybody, all right, let's sacrifice $1,000 a head so we can get this campus and glorify God. I wasn't sitting in front of the television like Robert Tilton. No. <laughs> or walking around like a blowfish like T.D. Snakes. <laughs> <laughs> Telling women you loose and yet you got a second husband you ain't loose from. No. That's right. Am I right? That's right. Go ahead, go ahead. The reason why people flock to these mega churches because they don't know the ingredients of a preacher. That's right. There's a Bible preacher and there's a satanic preacher. Oh yeah. A Bible preacher points the world to Christ. To Christ. A satanic preacher points the world to dollars. That's right. So then you go to these preachers here in Texas and other areas because you want to hear, oh, the Lord said if you give this, the Lord said if you give this, the Lord said if you give this, if you give this, they put it on the preacher's voice. The Lord said if you give this, oh, wait a minute, what you say, Lord? Mm. What you want me to tell them, Lord? <laughs> the, and this is showing you they don't have no fear. How you can stand right there and act like God talking to you and you don't hear nothing, not even crickets. Amen. And the people fall for it. Oh, yeah. Had a woman write me from T.D. Jakes. She said, I know he's lying, but I don't care. I like him. <laughs> Is that Bible? Give me Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter, uh, chapter 5 and chapter verse 30. Five and verse 30. Follow me. Jeremiah 5 and verse 30. Listen. A wonderful, a wonderful and horrible thing. And horrible thing. Is committed in the land. Is committed in the land. The prophets prophesy the falsely. The prophets. Anytime a man can get up with no conscience and no fear and say the Lord told me to tell you give uh, 30,000 and 50,000 and uh, several million dollars to this ministry and the Lord told me to tell you if you give it he'll give it back to you 1,000 fold God told me to tell the church I need a jet and a bunch of religious suckers fall for it that's right God told me to tell you it's time for me to get a new yacht mm. that's what they're saying. you let Pastor Jennings get on television and tell these folk hey the Lord told me to tell y'all uh, I need a new plan. They were like, don't send that devil nothing. <laughs> that way he ain't got to come here. That's right. And they wonder why the sinners have no respect for church. Yeah. Even the, listen, if you're from the hood, you know a hustle when you see one. Oh, yeah. And these pulpit mega bums are street church hustlers. Amen. They hustle you in the name of Jesus. Anytime you got to pay for prayer. Mm. $10,000 prayer line, $20,000 prayer line, and some sucker blow on you, and you fall out. Oh, yeah. And then you get in some fake prayer line. Why you always got to fall down when someone is back there to catch you? If the Lord is dealing with you, then hit the concrete floor. <laughs> Am I right, I said? Yeah. You never see them fall on concrete. They always there with a back catcher. And sometimes before they go back, they're looking. They want to know, you got, you got me? That's right. Do you hear what the Bible says? In Jeremiah 5 and at verse 30. Jeremiah 5 and 30 says. A wonderful and horrible wonderful thing. and horrible thing. Is committed in the land. Is committed in the land. Hold it. Now, here the Bible says it's wonderful, wonderful. and it's horrible. It's wonderful to Satan and it's wonderful to the flesh. 
But it's horrible in the eyes of God because it's God's people that's doing this. That's right. What is it? A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. Yes. The prophets prophesy falsely. <laughs> people love to be told they're going to get rich. Oh, yeah. Love that. These television preachers come tell you, claim your healing. How many of you have ever been told that or been heard that? Raise your hand. Good gracious. <laughs> My Texas family, there is no teaching in the history of the Bible where the prophets, Jesus, Jesus. or the apostles told anybody, claim your healing. No. Preachers tell you, don't claim that bad back. You don't have to. It'll claim you. I mean, look how foolish the devil make you. You see, you ain't got no food in your refrigerator. And the preacher going to tell you, don't, don't you believe you ain't got no food? <laughs> Am I right, I said? I want to show you what a sucker he make you. Your stomach growling. You hungry. You see, it ain't nothing in your fridge. And here's some satanic devil posing as a Christian telling you the devil wants you to believe you are behind in your bills. You got pink slips, yellow slips, blue slips. The devil ain't got to make you believe it. The proof speaks. <laughs> I just want us to come back to common sense. That's right. That's right. The devil wants you to believe you're behind in your bills. The devil wants you to believe that you don't hardly have no food. The devil wants you to believe you can't hardly make ends meet. <laughs> the devil wants me to believe all this. The devil ain't got to help me to believe it. That's right. Because I'm going through it. That's right. <laughs> Do you understand? So Satan, and this shows you the serpent characteristics of Satan that works in the preacher. By the time he bring a subliminal message to seduce you and make you ignorant to reality. That's right. He tell you, the devil made you lose your job. <laughs> it's because of the devil you ain't got no food. Mm. It's because of the devil you ain't rich. We give the devil too much credit. That's right. Sometimes it is our bad decisions that we made yeah. that got us in a predicament that we are. That's right. That's right. Well, I don't like telling a single girl, the devil got you pregnant. Oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> that boy got you pregnant. That's right. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? That's right. Holiness is reality preaching. Yeah. Not this fairy tale foolishness. Yeah. The book says, a wonderful and horrible thing. Chapter and verse again. Jeremiah. Go back mm -hmm. to the wealth mm -hmm. and the uh, wise. All right. Jeremiah 5 and at verse 30. Listen. A wonderful and horrible thing a is committed in the land. Thing is committed in the land. The prophets prophesy falsely. Prophet mean messenger. False prophet mean fake messenger, phony messenger, fraud. Fraud. A false prophet is one that the Lord never spoke to. Right. The Lord did not deal with him. Mm -hmm. I'll show you that. Hold that and give me Jeremiah 23, 23. Jeremiah chapter 23 and at verse Let's 23. Let's define what a false prophet is. False mean fake, phony, unreal. Mm -hmm. Prophet mean messenger. Mm -hmm. False prophet is one that's out there on his own, lying and saying the Lord got him out there. That's but right. God is not responsible for him being out there, mm -hmm. yet being a false prophet still fulfills scriptures. Because right. Jesus said many false prophets shall come and chase they shall deceive many. Many. Listen. Jeremiah 23 and at verse 21. What is it? I have not sent these prophets. Wait. Mm. Wait. Amen. Wait, I said. Amen. I have not sent these prophets. But what did they do? Yet they ran. All these fools got all type of callings. You can hear every type of strange calling. One man I was told said when the Lord appeared unto him, he was dressed like an astronaut. God in a space suit. Lord help me. Hmm. He probably was watching the Apollo and fell asleep. Fell asleep. Had a dream. <laughs> That's, right. <laughs> That's right. Amen. Fell asleep. Neil Armstrong came and sat on the side of his bed to dream, and he thought it was the Lord. My Lord. The most dangerous thing to listen to, and more dangerous 
to follow is a false prophet. False prophet. Because a false prophet, not only can he ruin you in this life, he can actually hinder you from going back with the Lord if you simply believe one lie. How many things did Adam do to get put out the garden? One. How many? One. All it takes is one thing to keep you from making eternity with God. That's right. I got to stick to the old pathway. Gotcha. Listen. I have not sent these prophets. What did they do, son? Yet they ran. And you see them all out. Oh. I believe a lot of men would do well if they had someone to teach them. Yeah. But if you're so arrogant and self-righteous and hard-headed, no one can tell you nothing, you're going to make a mess. That's right. Listen. I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. They, they running too. Oh, yeah. What else? I have not spoken to Wait them. Wait a minute. Amen. God I, said what? I have not spoken to them. Any revelation, when you hear these men say they got a revelation, don't get excited. Yeah. Because when that revelation contradict this book, yeah. that revelation comes from hell. That's right. Because you got to use the book to back up what's been revealed. That's right. Now, let's understand this. Today's revelation, today's scriptural revelation is yesterday's knowledge. That's right. What do you mean, Pastor Jennings? Anything that God revealed to you in scripture, you just being brought up to date mentally, and spiritually with the knowledge of the past that have already been given out right. because there's nothing new under the sun. Under the sun. You're just catching up with understanding. Do you get what I'm telling you? That which hath been. Do you hear the Bible in the book of Ecclesiastes? In the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 15. Brother Solomon says. That which hath been. That which have been. Is now. Is now. So whatever knowledge you have about God. When it comes from God, somebody already had it before you was born. That's right. That's right. No new knowledge. No new knowledge. Because all revelation must be written That's right. in order to prove it. Yeah. Because Jesus said, he that believeth on me as the scripture have said. That's right. See, the scriptures never said that Jesus is the second person in the Godhead. So when someone come and said, I got a revelation. Jesus is the second person in the Godhead. Jesus said to believe on him as the scripture have said. So you're going to have to run to the scripture where Jesus said he's the second person. Or where any of the apostles said he's the second person. Or where the prophet said he's the second person. Right. And if you can't find it in here, I don't pay it no mind out there. <laughs> That's right. All right, listen to the old man. That's right. All of you Trinitarian fakers. Yeah. Three separate and distinct personalities in a Godhead. In Godhead. Don't you know when someone got more than one personality, you're schizophrenic? That's right. That's right. You're a fool. Amen. We don't serve a schizophrenic God. No. Well, Pastor Jenny, give, give me the fifth chapter, mm -hmm. first epistle of John, epistle because of that's John. where some of the folks' mind are. Amen. Huh? I want to go there right now and clear up the Trinitarian lie mm -hmm. that never came from the Bible. It came from Rome. That's right. The doctrine of Trinity never came from Bible. Yeah. It came from Europe. That's right. It came from Rome. That's right. It was brought by the Catholic Church. Mm -hmm. In fact, the Catholic Church was the one that introduced the term Trinity. Amen. All down through the Bible, the prophets saw one. One God. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one. One. That's it. I take my one God and level everybody to religion. That's right. Amen. I'm like David. You know, David got that smooth stone. Mm -hmm. One stone and put it in the sling. And it, and it wasn't a stone with jagged edges. No, no. It was a smooth stone. That one stone represent one God. And the reason why the stone was smooth, it represent that God is flawless. Huh? That's right. You see, God is flawless. That's right. So he got a one stone represent one God. It was smooth, me. It had no defects. Why? God is no defects in God. That's right. And that's why. And then when he loaded up, he come to Goliath and said, I come in the name, in the name. of the Lord. And the stone hit him right in the head. Who is the head of all the man made religion? Satan. That's right. Glory to God. Hallelujah. All right, son. First John chapter 5 and at verse 7. I want this to be good for you, Trinitarian. That's always right in me. Oh, this man don't believe in the Trinity. One man said, I used to like you, Pastor Jennings, but you don't believe in the Trinity. Then like somebody else. <laughs> Amen. Trinity is of the devil. That's right. Listen to that, Pastor Jennings. There's a reporter. I don't know who the reporter is. Wrote an article up on me in Philadelphia. Supposed to be some Christian. 
and say, Pastor Jennings and that first church of our Lord Jesus Christ is a cult because he believe in one God and he don't believe in the fundamentals of Trinity. <laughs> Let me say to every Bible scholar, every preacher, black, white, yellow, and red, you come on here with your three gods and I take my one. Let's have a showdown and see if I don't beat all your three back to hell. That's right. I said the three God teaching is of the devil. Of the devil. There's no way in the Bible that teach three gods. No. Imagine having three supervisors. Wouldn't you be confused? Oh, yeah. Now, let's get some Bible. First John chapter 5 and at verse 7. First John 5 and 7. Then give me Revelation 4 and 1. Amen. I want to see how many is on the throne. That's it. All right. First John 5 and at verse 7. That's what? For there are three that bear record in heaven. Hold up. There are three gods in heaven. There are three that bear record in heaven. Oh, no. There are three distinct persons in the Godhead in heaven. There are three that bear record in heaven. Look at the word record. Record. Record means something is recorded. That's right. So there's something recorded in heaven. In heaven. About three. That's right. Not three gods. No. But three titles. That's right. Listen. For there are three that bear record in heaven. What is it? The Father. Who is the Father? God. 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 Who is the Father? God. What else? The word. Who is the word? God. Same one. Same one. What else? And the Holy Ghost. Who is the Holy Ghost? God. That's God. So when I say, well, Holy Ghost is not God. Holy Ghost is Holy Spirit. And the Bible said it's one spirit. Then the Bible told you who that spirit is. And John 4, 24 says God is a spirit. It's a spirit. When you're filled with the Holy Ghost, you're filled with God. That's right. The Holy Ghost is the spirit of God. That's right. When you're filled with the spirit of God, you're filled with the Holy Ghost. That's right. Hallelujah. So, Father, Word, Word Holy, Ghost. Holy Ghost, these three. And these three are one. Those are the titles. That's right. He's Father. Why? He's the creator of everything. Right. He's the Word because he sends his Word through men to preach. That's right. And to lead you to him. That's right. He's the Holy Ghost because he come to fill you and put you in his church in the body of Christ. That's but that's right. not all. No. He ain't just Father. Mm -hmm. He ain't just Word. He ain't just Holy Ghost. Yeah. I can get more than three. Oh, yeah. He's comforter. Yes. He's keeper. Yeah. He's healer. He's redeemer. He's savior. He's alpha. He's omega. Hallelujah. 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 Here's another scripture that the Trinitarian try to make three or try to make two. Mm -hmm. Give me Acts. Chapter 7. seven. Begin at verse 55. Mm -hmm. Come tell me it's two. Amen. Come tell me it's three. I'll make you lick it up. Here, 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 Trinitarians. Mm -hmm. and that's, I want it to be good in case I got any undercover triplets here. Amen. Huh? Amen. Uh, if I got any undercover triplets here, I take your... Why would you think God need help? That's right. How can he call himself the Almighty and need help? Right. He said, I stretch off the heavens alone. 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 Where was the other two? That's right. He said, I spread abroad the earth by myself. By myself. By myself. Where was the other two? Yeah. He said, when I looked and wondered, there was none to help. None to help. Yes. Come on, Trinities. Mm -hmm. I'm calling for all Trinitarians. Amen. Come face Pastor Jennings so I can take you to the slaughter with the Bible. That's right. Now, let me show you another script that these infidels use. Acts chapter See, 7. This, this, when they, Trinity is not the old pathway. No. The old pathway is one God. That's right. Abraham served one God. Yeah. Jacob served one God. Oh, yeah. Isaac served one God. Moses served one God. That's right. Aaron, Joshua, Israel. One God. Just one. Well, Aaron served one God for a period of time, then he switched up. And That's picked right. up idols. That's right. Until Moses had to tie into them. Amen. All down through the Bible, one God. It wasn't until the Europeans stepped in and put a spin on the Bible from Satan. Yeah. Hallelujah. And begin to teach people who were scripturally illiterate. That's right. And now you walking around with paintings in your house and in your church. An old man with a beard, the father. Mm -hmm. A little pudgy baby with fat knees, the son, and a white pigeon. <laughs> That's right. That's right. A white pigeon, a dove. A dove. White the Holy pigeon. Ghost. 
That's and right. you say that's the Trinity. That's right. No, that's artwork. That's all. That's it. You're so ignorant, so full of hell. Amen. Do you hear this? Acts chapter 7 and at verse 55. There's another scripture the Trinitarian used. Listen at this. But he being full of the Holy Ghost. Talk about Stephen, who was one of the seven. He was full of the Holy Ghost. Looked up steadfastly into heaven. He looked up into heaven. And saw the glory of God. He saw the glory of God. And Jesus. Uh oh, oh, my goodness. Boy, when the Holy Ghost brings something, he just knock out everybody. Amen. And Jesus. Standing on the right hand of God. Right then, they said, you see, there's two. It's two. It's two. Jesus standing on the right hand of God. Well, oh, that would make two of them up there, That's right. according to men. Right. Well, first, let's see who Jesus was. Give mm -hmm. me Titus. Titus chapter 2. Chapter 2. And verse 13. And verse 13. Amen. And then we'll go back to Acts. I want y'all to follow me now. Mm -hmm. We want to take you to school. This is Saturday. Amen. Amen. What many said, the Sabbath. That's right. And we're going to rest in the scriptures here. That's right. Listen. Titus chapter 2 and at verse 13. All right. Looking for that blessed hope. I preach Jesus Christ as God and there is no God but he. But he. And not the flesh. The flesh was not God. Right. The flesh never was God and the flesh can't be God because flesh, God don't have a mother. That's right. The flesh was a body that God worked in to redeem you and I. That's right. God was in that body. That's why Paul said God was in Christ. Jesus reconciling the world unto himself. Unto himself. Listen. Looking for that blessed hope. Looking for the blessed hope. And the glorious appearing of the great God. Wait a minute. The glorious appearing of who? Of the great God. The glorious appearing of who? And the glorious appearing of the great God. And who else is it? And our Savior. What's his name? Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus Christ is the great God? And the glorious appearing of the great God. And he's our Savior? And our Savior. Who is it? Jesus Christ. Now go back to the book of Acts 7 chapter. That's why you need a god sent preacher to come through these scriptures. That's right. And make them harmonize. That's right. All right. At, back in Acts 7 and verse 55. All right. But he being full of the Holy Ghost. He being full of the Holy Ghost. Looked up steadfastly into heaven. And seen what? And saw the glory of God. And? And Jesus standing on the right hand of God. If the Bible says Jesus Christ is God, how he's can God. Jesus stand on the right hand of another? That's right. 